Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Mr. Lemur33 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grow on Twitch by giving you my best tips and tricks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. So, coming in at the first tip, my first tip for you guys is having something about your overlay, something about your stream that is unique and eye-catching. There is millions of streamers on Twitch and you need to stand out for someone to click on your stream. So try to make something unique about your stream that no other stream has. Some tricks to help your stream stand out is having animated overlays, lights in your background, eye popping colors on your stream so that when viewers scroll past it, they notice it. So my second tip for you guys is having a good title for your stream. Titles are very underrated and can bring a lot of viewership to your channel. Try to make a title that isn't so basic and makes your stream stand out. Also, some tricks to help your title stand out is including the region that you're playing on, the language you're speaking, the platform you're on, so you can stream and attract viewers from a specific niche. So, my third tip for you guys is social networking. Social networking means meeting other people on Twitch, and building relationship with other streamers so you can learn and meet new people. Social networking is pretty simple. All you have to do, let's say once a day for 10 minutes, you go into someone new stream and you build a relationship and talk with them. You can learn some new things and meet lots of people this way. My fourth tip for you guys is building social medias and uploading and building a community on other platforms than Twitch. This means posting on Instagram and building a community there and growing while you're offline rather than just when you're online. Some great social medias to do this on include YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. So my fifth tip for you guys is involving games with your community, playing open lobbies that can get other people in. Lots of people like to search around Twitch and look for people to play with. So involving your community and involving other people into your game is very beneficial. So an example for this for Fortnite would be like playing squads with viewers. Lots of people on Twitch don't have a lot of people to play with on Fortnite. So if you are hosting squads with viewers, lots of people on Twitch would be looking for that and looking to play with you. So my sixth tip for you guys is having a good quality stream. This is very important because having a good quality stream will allow viewers and enable viewers to watch you and watch you for your content. Having a good quality stream means streaming at at least 3500 bitrate and streaming at at least 720p. If you do not have the best PC, I do have a video that is out on my YouTube channel of how to stream at good quality with a low end PC. So my seventh tip for you guys is interacting with your chat actively. This means always looking over at your chat and seeing if anyone's chatting. Because if you get a viewer and you don't look at chat for 5 minutes, the chances are is that they'll leave. So if you always are looking at chat, you can build conversations and build relationships with viewers. Interacting with your chat actively can help you and your viewers build a relationship together and start conversations. If you're always talking to your chat and asking them questions, or responding to their comments, they're gonna wanna type in chat more and be much more active in your channel. So my eighth tip for you guys is having a positive attitude and mindset towards streaming. If the only reason you wanna stream is to get the money, it'll be very obvious for the viewers that are watching and you should not do that. Not every stream is gonna be your best stream. Some viewers may not make it some streams and some streams the chat may be slow, but you just gotta keep on doing your best no matter who is there and no matter what the viewer count is. Always stay positive and always try your best no matter how high or how low your viewer count is. So if you've been averaging zero viewers for the whole entire month of let's say June, and you keep on streaming and you're asking yourself the question why I'm not growing, I recommend you change something or switch something up in your stream. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So if no outcome is happening with your stream, make a change. An example of this is maybe doing something differently about your stream. So let's say switching the color of an overlay, switching an overlay up, maybe switching your camera position, switching the game you play, switching what you're doing in the game. Little changes like this can make a huge difference. 
So my ninth and final tip on this list is having a consistent stream schedule. This tip is one of the most important tips on this list and I cannot tell you how much this tip has helped me grow on Twitch. Having a consistent stream schedule can pull all your viewers in at the same time because they know when you're live and they know when you'll be streaming. This tip is so important because if you stream at any random time of the day then maybe you'll get a couple people, a couple of your followers in your stream at 2 p.m. and then maybe a couple followers of your stream at 10 p.m. If you stream at a certain time every day of the week then all your viewers will build their schedule around your stream and they will all know, oh, it's at 8 p.m. This person is streaming. So building a consistent stream schedule is one of the biggest tips I have for you. So to wrap up the video, the nine tips I gave you guys today is having a good title, social networking, being active on other social medias, community games, good quality streams, interacting with your chat actively, having a positive mindset, and having a consistent stream schedule. If you guys learned absolutely anything new in this video, please drop a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you guys have any questions, I would love for you guys to come into my Twitch chat and I will answer the questions live on stream. I would love if you guys had questions and I would love to answer them. If you cannot catch me when I'm live, I'd love to answer your questions in my DMs. You can DM me on my Twitter and Instagram. Both links will be in my bio as well as my Twitch link to catch me while I am live. Hopefully you guys all learned something new in this video. Have a great rest of your guys' day. Thank you guys all so much for giving me your time. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.